Hello children, how are you? Today we will catch up doing the exercises where in page number 27 in your book you have been given to write the highlighted nouns. These are the highlighted nouns, the words that are written in green color. You have to write the nouns in correct columns in the table. So this is the table that you see. Yes. Here in one col under one column you will write the nouns that are names of general people, places or things. And in the other column you have to write under this the nouns that are the special names of people, place and things. So general names are the common nouns, special names are the proper nouns. As easy as this. Now the first one is Miss the uh, the white cottage on Mall Road belongs to my grandparents. So the white cottage it can be any white cottage. So cottage will be general. Yes, and on Mall Road you see M and R is written in capital letters. So it will be special name Mall Road. Please, you will uh, do this in your textbook, alright? And I will give you more question answers. The question answers should be written in your English language notebook, alright? The white cottage on Mall Road belongs to my grandparents. So, grandparents can be any grandparent. And any grandparents can be grandparents. So, grandparents are common noun. Grand, grandparents is common noun. Please excuse me. Grandparents is common noun. Yes. Next, my teacher, Mr. Gupta, comes from Lucknow. So, teacher can be any teacher. A person who teaches you is a teacher, and this is a common term for those people who teach you. So, it is a common noun. My teacher. So, the name of the teacher is a special name, Mr. Gupta. Who comes from a special place, Lucknow. Now, Abo ka shahar. Have you eaten a burger at Tijos? Tijos is the name of a restaurant. So, have you eaten a burger at Tijos? You can ask your friend. Have you eaten a pizza at McDonald's or... Pizza Hut or something or Domino's. So Domino's can be proper noun. McDonald's is a proper noun. KFC is a proper noun. No? Crispy chicken at KFC. Burger is a common food. Burger is a common noun. And tea juice. Number four is mix the butter, eggs, sugar and flour well. So butter, eggs, sugar and flour. Flour is maida. Okay. Flour. F-L-O-U-R. You will pronounce it flour. So butter, eggs, sugar, flour are common nouns. Number five, we saw red pandas and black bears in the Darjeeling Zoo. We saw red pandas and black bears. Please excuse me, I am not able to accommodate here. You, you know I am reading you the answer. You write accordingly. Hmm? So Darjeeling Zoo, Darjeeling is the proper noun. Darjeeling Zoo. Z O O Zoo. Then the Taj Mahal and the pyramids are magnificent monuments. So, since monuments, monuments are big uh, historic buildings, okay? Um, monuments, M is written in small letter. So, it will be common noun. Monuments. Which monuments? Taj Mahal and the pyramids. You you will find pyramid in Egypt that, that are famous all over the world. 
Taj Mahal. Yesterday I told you, no? Taj Mahal is the proper noun. Pyramids. Number seven. The father of the student came to meet the teacher. So all these are common nouns. It, it could be any father, any student, any teacher. Yes? So father of the student came to meet the teacher. Next, the Krishna, the Ganges and the Godavari. The Krishna, the Ganges. Ganges is the Ganga River. And the Godavari are some important rivers in India. So, rivers will be common now. This is a term for all the rivers. And which rivers? Krishna, Ganges, and the Godavari. When some, when the rivers are proper noun, they take the, T-H-E, the, before their names. The Krishna, you will not say Krishna only. The Krishna, the, Kag, the Ganges and the Godavari. Alright, the places, these places will take their names like this. The Krishna, the Ganges, the Godavari. Alright children, I hope this will be easy for you to understand. If you don't understand, I am here again to help you. So, please go through this and follow up the exercises. Bye.